Hey everyone, two stories this week, and just like the different ways to spell colour, one is from the UK and one is from America. Let's first talk about Boris Johnson. He was embroiled in a bitter row after making comments about women wearing the burqa resembling a post box, and were possibly inspired by the thought that the next Tory leadership election in a few months will involve sending out thousands of postal ballots to the party faithful. The comment or joke or hate speech or leadership stump, depending on how you view it, attracted support from the Mr Bean actor Ron Atkinson in a piece in the Times, as well as The Guardian, who published the same joke in an opinion piece several years ago, and actually, oh wait, no, they came out on the side of political correctness this time, rather than feminism. If you want my take on it, it's pretty simple to tell the burqa and a postbox apart. One is for first-in-class male, the other is for second-class females. Across most of the Arab world, by the way, there's 200 million women out there if anybody wants to take a break from discussing gender pay differences at the BBC. Next to America, though, where Donald Trump, satisfied with the progress of his trade war with China, decided to expand the scope of his presidential vision by announcing a new Space Force. The move came as a blow to toy manufacturers who've used names like Space Force along with Star Battles or Transformingers to sell knockoff third party rubbish to kids down the market for years. The kind of toy manufacturers who back in the 80s would have sold you a Back to the Future toy set where the DeLorean looked suspiciously like a grey Ford Granada from another toy set. Anyway, back to the Space Force though, there's currently a Choose Your Favourite logo website open to the public, which, this being America, of course, leads on to a political donations website because, frankly, the President's 2020 campaign will likely cost more than the actual Space Force will. Alas, for most of the fun science fiction imagery, the new branch of the military will most likely be responsible for cataloguing boring stuff like the position of spy satellites and the like. If it ever does resemble Star Trek in any way, it will be more like when the fans are arguing about plot holes online and intricate detail from the mother's basement. But then I'm more of a Battlestar Galactica fan myself anyway. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.